Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. I will start by thanking to the organizers uh, for the invitation to, to talk a little bit about um, my research. Uh, today, I will, talk, I will talk about epispectral remote sensing, and uh, I will focus in some data analysis aspects of epispectral remote sensing. <coughs> Epispectral, in a, in a, in a ve very shortly, is an extension of the color capacity that most systems, uh, most cameras uh, have. Has uh, basically what we have with epispectral is hundreds of colors instead of one color. And with this, the objective is is to to have a fine uh, spectral information about the behavior of the materials that are sketching the light, and. Uh, the, the, the idea is, is to, 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 to have a fine identification of the materials and of the objects that we are imaging. In fact, in the last 10, 15 years, we have lots of new sensors with enhanced capabilities and that has, these sensors have opened the door to uh, a huge number of new applications in which the main objective is to find identification, do finite identification of the materials. This is great. We have a, a, a huge um, power at, at our, in our hands, but we have also a huge challenge because there are many, uh, many tasks that, that are not simple to do. And I'm, talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of these challenges and algorithms to cope with these uh, problems with this data analysis. Uh, just to say that, part of the things that I'm, 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 I'm going to address here, to talk here, is um, results, the results from a joint collaboration with these colleagues, Antonio Plaza, Gustavo Campsval, Paul Chanders, Nasser Nashrabadi, and uh, Justin Chenuso. We um, have put these ideas together in, in, in a paper recently, and part of the ideas came from this, this joint work. Okay, the outline, I, I will start by talking a little bit about basics of hyperspectral remote sensing. So what is hyperspectral uh, remote sensing? We have sun, perhaps, we have sun, we have electromagnetic waves that, uh, that uh, hits the terrain, and then we read the light that, that is uh, acquired. I'm going to talk a little bit about the basics of the acquisition system. We call it sometimes the forward model. Then uh, I'm going to talk about data analysis and challenging. There are, the, I will organize the talk in a few topics that uh, are uh, typically addressed in, in, in data analysis of hyperspectral uh, remote sensing, namely unmixing. Quite often the, the light that, you, that we read are mixed and we would like to unmix. The 